And I'm Dylan Black. They're celebrating 25 years of one of Ottawa's biggest bookkeeping firms. They're called Account Train Incorporated, and we've got the founder here with us today, Sandy Tunwell, joins us. Hello, Sandy. Hi, Dylan. Nice Thanks to for have having you. me. Can we go back in time, <laughs> quarter of a century now? 25 years, why did you even create Account Train? Thanks for asking. Yes, I was uh, a controller for a firm in Ottawa. They restructured, and I was told, gee, you're really great with the people. Are you sure you just want to be behind the desk all day? So I started teaching at the Ottawa board. Mm -hmm. I was teaching accounting for small businesses, and a lot of the people were coming up to me and saying, this is great, but you didn't teach payroll, or can I call you at year end, hmm. and uh, can you come in and teach my staff a specific task? So I realized there was a need for that, for somebody to come in just as needed basis not mm. a full-time position. And 25 years later, did you think you'd make it to this point? Uh, no, I didn't think I'd make it to year two. I, I didn't even have a company name in the first couple of years. I just was Sandy Tunwell Bookkeeping Consultant. Yeah. And uh, That's after catchy, two though. years, yeah, still yeah. Catchy. yeah. After two years, I thought, I, this is a company now. I, I need to get a name. I need it to be legit. Congratulations. Okay, so tell us about some of your keys to success, though, 25 years in. Uh, well, we make it uh, whatever the client needs, so whether they need us once a week, once a quarter, once a month, as per needed basis, mm -hmm. I choose a staff that's going to fit their needs, and it's always the same staff, so it's consistency, and we become part of the team, which they love because they know they can count on us, they know, hey, she's coming back in two weeks, so they know exactly when to expect us, and we just do whatever they want us to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're breaking down some stereotypes as well. You're not stuffy at all. You're not a stuffy bookkeeper. You had a big rooftop patio party or big rooftop party to celebrate 25 years? That's right. Last week, we had our big celebration. We had some of our clients there and all the staff and uh, some of our key players and it was a lot of fun and that's what we're known for actually and I'm very particular when I hire people I don't want a very quiet um, bookkeeper that's just sitting at the desk and not talking it's, communication is very uh, important for uh, somebody that's only there once in a while so we make sure that that's how we fit in okay how can you save people time and money Give us some tips. Sure, for sure. Uh, so the biggest thing with accounting that people don't realize is there, there are a lot of rules. And so what happens to save money is we just make sure that they're following those rules. And a lot of those take place at the end of the year. People don't realize, oh, I got that sale, but I, I, the money hasn't come in yet, so I'm not going to record that right now. But um, whereas they have to, there's a rule called accrual accounting, and, and that's what we make sure they follow. So mm -hmm. that's one thing. Um, sometimes they'll have situations with CRA, and we will be the liaison. We'll phone CRA and tell them they've hired a professional bookkeeper and that we're going to be getting things under control mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, suggest they make installments in the meantime so they're not incurring interest until we get things straightened out. So that's a good way to save money. Okay, so you help when it comes to CRA because that's probably not fun for anybody to have to deal with. That's right. People get very nervous. We've had clients come into the office and they're crying and uh, we're just like, you know, we're very caring and empathetic. That's something people tell us all the time. And it's like, let's let's do this together and let's handhold you through that, whether it's an audit or just a phone call. Mm -hmm. And I think the big thing with us, too, is we explain a lot. Not just we need this, but we explain why we need it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that helps them relax and understand a bit more. Mm -hmm. Some people want nothing to do with anything with their numbers, but we just try to give them a few tips and a few little stories to help them understand. Okay, can you quick, quickly tell us an example about how you helped in a big way? Sure, well I have a client right now that's just hired me and a perfect example when somebody's not uh, formally trained and they don't really know what they're doing is they had a huge amount of money that came in so income so they thought it was revenue so they put it on their uh, income statement as revenue but it was a loan and that belongs on a different report mm. and so they would have paid income tax on that forty five thousand dollars but we just had to move it over to a different report and mm. allow it being a loan so that was just you know the types of things that we catch and that was one thing I just caught last week so by coming to you people save money time and possible jail time even perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about jail time, but absolutely yeah, uh, trouble. Um, uh, trouble with the CRA, that's for sure, and just helping them understand things better and uh, making sure that they reach deadlines now and understand why they have to do things the way that they have to be done. Where are you based out of? We're based in the market, actually, but our thing is we come to you. So if you're in Westboro or Canada, we'll come to you. Perfect. AccountTrain.com. Here's to 25 more successful years. Thank you so much, Dylan. Thank you very much. And thank you for being here as always. Check out our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Take care.